Hey. Hey. Yay. Let's pick here. Come on. We You've been right all day, Sheaves. Knock. Stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you, your prediction's been on point, girl. Okay, well, Team Liquid, missing a miracle hero, definitely won't be Storm Spirit. Mm -hmm. Hope not. Let's yep. put it that way. You're buying time. I am buying <laughs> time. Uh, I'd like it to be a hero that also still does something with illusions. Maybe Ember somewhat of a spirit. core hero. Mm -hmm. Ember Spirit I would it nicely. Oh, look, it's, it's Ember Spirit. Was this like lag in the audio, perhaps? No, I definitely said it right She's, before. It's, it's she really did. all over again. <laughs> it's Jenga. You're cheating Jesus. again, Shiva. <clears throat> no. Play, play <laughs> games with Shiva. No. <laughs> no. 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 If, if, they ever, if we ever get invited over to play board games, you, you know Shiva's going to cheat. She's going to play the Five, bank and Monopoly and just start eight. stealing money. And that's, yeah. that's not me, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Please <No>. leave me. <laughs> I was normally in my, in my, my family house. Obviously, I have a family of where, where we were four kids, so we play board games together. Yeah. I was the one normally lost. Oh, okay. So there's that. So and I, I didn't said cheat. You'd never I just, lose again. No. Yeah, she started cheating. No. Then I, what was the last pick? The last pick? That was Tinker. 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 That was Tinker. <laughs> okay, predictions. Tinker. Uh, um, whoo, uh, Tinker versus Ember. I, I like Team Liquid. Okay. No. Believe in all right. uh, Ember. What do you reckon? Uh, I've been wrong all day and I want Team Liquid to win, so I'm going to go for Vega. Ah, you're going to leave me to be. Picking for myself for yeah, once. Yeah, no cause... easy game this time, Shiver. No, I actually think that uh, I like Vega in this draft. Oh, well, you're screwed. Mm. Let's, let's <laughs> try Vega. Too, right? I know, I've been wrong. I mean, if we're pay, wrong, it's fine. We are not side. We are not proper analysts. If he's wrong, you know, then... I didn't even know what the fifth pick was, and I said... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what let's I hear done? what our commentators are thinking about these uh, these lineups coming out from Team Vega and Team Liquid. It is over to Odie Pixel, who's sitting there with Ben. Hello ladies and gentlemen, indeed, I'm Odie Pixel, I'm here with Mr. Ben Wu, aka Malini for this one. We've got Liquid up against Vega, the drafts have been revealed, and it's, I think a lot of people are waiting to see this one. I'm sure there's a lot of people revving up their uh, Twitch chat to, to, to blame Bulber and such if Liquid <laughs> go down again. But I mean, the question is Ben, draft-wise so far, are you liking uh, what Liquid have against Vega, or do you feel Vega's got the stronger draft this time? What's what are you worried about? Uh, I kind of like Liquid's draft a little bit better. I think they have better team by synergy. Yeah, you like the Ember Spirit? Uh, yes, but the big thing that I'm worried about is the Earth Spirit. Is it going to be awesome? I mean, Kuroki's Earth Spirit the other day, it was, yeah, it was just a little bit awkward. Was, I mean, I'm mean, sure, you know, he's yeah. played here. I think we had the stat that he just hadn't played it, of course, in a long time in pro games because you had Jarex on the team. There'd be no reason yeah. for Kuroki to play it. But that's nasty. Like the yeah. I've seen like vacuum into like all the Earth Spirit. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that it's it's pretty disgusting. And then they have the Iron Shell plus the Ember Spirit. It's all pretty good. I, I think they can keep the Tinker in check. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess obviously Vegas Squadron with that Tinker. I mean, what what are you trying to do with it? Because I mean, are you necessarily trying to prolong the the length of the game? Because it, it, the longer you do that, the the more that the Ember Spirit's going to have in, in their toolkit, the the spend as well. I mean, what what's the timing for the for the side of Vega this game? How do they win this one? Uh, I think it's they're mostly to kite the spend. It's also just really good in lane versus the Ember Spirit. I think yeah. you can pressure them pretty hard early. Uh, they also have uh, like good support heroes to deal yeah. with the. Ember Spirit, Static Storm, very good. Instant Stun on the Sand King, also very, very good. You know, last time we cast together, I think was in uh, China, and then we had the shocking headphones. That wasn't the last time we. Was that really? Last was time it? I think it was. Oh, Nanyang. Yeah. Was it? I that was a so. while ago, wasn't it? That was what? How long ago was that? A year? Yeah, almost a year. Two years. But we got shocks. <laughs> I that will was not right. forget that cast. That was. I can't. <laughs> I remember, in fact, I remember as well during that we did a, I, I cast it with Bulber as well. Mm -hmm. He uh, he managed to feel the experience of the shocking headphones. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we lost a few brain cells then, you know. That was uh, pretty, I hope not too many. Pretty intense. No sound in Dota. Sorry, you should be sorry. It's all your fault, FNG. But you no. know his name is Six in Chinese. I was going to say, what does the symbol mean, Ben? Six. Six. Why six? There's a number six. I, I don't know. Six have a FN relevance? is seven. Vega.fn.7, oh, yeah. and then Bulba is two. I think Bulba has used two for a pretty long time. Why is he using two? I don't know. It's, 
Is his support play so good he looks like a position two in his farm? I mean, it probably not. lucky number. <laughs> his lucky number. Maybe it's his number of competitive wins. I mean... <laughs> For old Bulba. I mean, to be fair, you know, there was a lot of talk on the. I mean, you can't blame Bulba for the the games the other day, can you? It's just people find it so easy to. Poor old Sam. But today, Sam is going to pull out amazing plays. In fact, you can get your uh, DVRs ready. This is going to be a game worthy of Bulba highlights. I can feel it. You know, playing the Shadow Demon. I'm sure we won't see a single bad disruption this game. Or a missed poison. Yep. His soul catcher is going to hit the hero even amongst like 50 creeps. He's going to have Axe at 12 minutes. Bulba SD. Bulba's really good as an individual player, though. He uh, is. Sometimes in competitive, it, it just doesn't, I don't know, just doesn't translate that well. Sometimes. Yes. But oftentimes he does whoop some ass. I mean, it's obviously uh, for the lineup of Liquid, it's, it's, do you feel it is quite a big change, you know, switching out? Uh, what, Fada and, and Jerex and then taking in Bulba and Miracle, does that just change the whole dynamic of what your lineup can achieve? Are, the, are these very different players, do you feel? Yes, yeah. I think so. Bulba is, he's a playmaker, but I, I don't know, he doesn't, um, it seems like he does less with the same amount of farm that Jerex does, and Jerex also farms a lot more, yes. and yes. He gets a lot more farm, I don't know. Maybe Bulba just dies a lot. <laughs> And that's that's the main difference that I see. <laughs> Poor old Sam. Wow. I don't know. He he was mostly playing off lane though. He was, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely, it's, that's it's, what we've seen him in the, he has the to last. Play few all these different teams positions. He's been part. It's a tough world. I was gonna say, do, have we ever seen him in the support capacity in in a pro team? Yes. We have a in smoke the past. early. Yeah, Boba and Kuro. There we go. Looking for the plays. Looking towards mid. They want to go for it. They found FNG, Kuroki, playing up the roll. Oh dear, he's going to miss it. It might not matter though, they're chasing down FNG with the flame guard. Nah, he's going to tether. No. Yep. I was about to say, well, if you can't hit boulders, you might as well get a setup spell for it. They did have the setup spell. Yeah. Well, they still couldn't hit it. Practice makes perfect though, Owen. One day. Yeah. One next, day time, next time at Nanyang, they won't shock us. Yes. And that wasn't Bulba mess. No, you can't blame Bulba for that. No, no, no blaming Bulba, please. Nope. Well, we have to defend Bulba this entire game. We do. <laughs> Believe me, we do. Yeah. But anyway, the, the lane's coming out. The, the decision here from the, the side of Liquid to to come up towards the top, run their lane a little bit aggressive, keep the 1v1 down bottom. Is is this favoring a certain side? Is, is this better for Liquid to have this, this aggressive try lane against the safe lane of Vega? Let's see. Versus the Juggernaut, Sven's one of those like really difficult to kill offlaners. Yeah. Uh, if he if he has some heroes paired up with him, because uh, the trend has just been to have roamers. Often this game, there's just the Wisp parking in the mid lane, and that leaves your safe lane very vulnerable. I think the the mentality a few months ago used to be always make sure you win your safe lane, but that has changed. Up top, Frank Roach is going to hit the roll this time onto FM, but FM walks it off. They'll look towards the easier kill. Bulba with the body block. Oh, look at this man go. Sets up the Stormhammer, and that's going to be it. Liquid get themselves the first blood, take it down, and Bulba, first blood for the boy on the SD. Pulls it off this time with some sweet body blocking. Yeah, that was really well played by both sides. The Juggernaut tanked the boulder so that he could just spin away if they went on him and try to save the Disruptor's life, but Disruptor just not in the greatest of uh, positions up there, and this safe lane is heavily under fire. Kuro doesn't need a setup to hit this boulder. Ay ay ay, and the follow through from a Timberman's there as well. Joma kind of puts it by his own creeps, so that's actually going to save him by looks a bit. Ticking down low, not low enough. He survives. And Timberman and Kuroki still trying to fight, but FN having the backup of FNG. Sticking together to Bulba, falling low. Oh, the bull's got it. takes him down. So they will lose Bulba there in that one. FNG turning up in the eyes to help turn it around. But at the same time, down bottom lane, Mind Control, one of his signature heroes, the Darks here, able to pull off a solo kill in a 1v1 against an SK. I mean, that that's just straight out play. That shouldn't be happening, Ben. Straight out play, indeed. Both of them are pretty good for melee heroes. It's a pretty volatile lane. Yeah. Take a couple of caustics or take a few too many seconds of ion shell. You're not going to have a good time. That top fight was a little strange, though. Kuro thought they had the kill without the boulder smash. He, was, he wasn't able to use it. The Shadow Demon didn't pop his poison early enough onto the Disruptor. So the Disruptor uh, healed up from the Tango and was out of kill range for the two stacks. Mid lane, Ember is actually He's getting suffering. owned. But that's that's expected, especially with the Wisp there early. Ember's 
laning phase is not his strong suit. Oh, look at that. PTSD maybe kicking in for Miracle. Last time he played this, when they were eliminated by Jimmy Ho and the boys in TI6. So looking to prove himself on the Ember here, Miracle. Let's see if he's able to pull it off there. That's oh yeah, saying. I forgot so, about the, start. the Ember versus the Wisp. I remember EG yeah. picked it a lot. They He would just jump the Wisp like every single time. And with Island Shell, you would just die in, in the first chains. So if you don't have something easy like Bounty Hunter or Lion to pick them off, Ember is a nice choice too. And Bob and Kuroki going on a bit of an adventure in the jungle. Miracle did head back. Looks like he's cleared out his one of the camps in the flank up, but up top, moving in onto Jump of the Slayer. He's got the back of the FNG. Nice ball to smash Kuroki, hitting off the bow. The Shadow Poison stacking up onto the Disruptor. Is it going to be enough to pop him? I don't think it is at this stage of the game. With the damage nerf, it received that last mini patch. And indeed, Jump of the Slayer able to walk it off. FNG just ends up forcing Kuroki and Bulba out attack. of the jungle. Iceberg's coming across with an Invis rune. Uh, he's not going to pursue it. It's actually up towards the top when the Timber Man has eyes onto FN. FN maybe coming across to see if you could cut off the supports coming back round. It's not going to be the case. At the end of the day, no one goes down. But still, yeah, this mid lane, it's it's looking tough for Miracle. He's getting the XP. But CS is certainly a different story. I mean, how how do you, how does an Ember kind of come back into to a game like this when he's had this tough start in a mid lane? You have the steroid in the Ion Shell yep. later. So that's like two and a half flame guards right there. So he, he can easily get, come back and kill us. Not really too worried about him. Uh, FNG. Going for that bit of AFK action there. As he, it's allowed us to, to be disrupted, but no follow through. Again, it feels like my Baldwin and Kuroki were seeing them move around the map once. They did manage to make a bit of action happen up top, but it's proven to be quite difficult for them to do uh, anything about the other lanes from Vega Squadron. They just seemed that little bit stronger in a fact, Miracle. They had that Observer War on the top lane that scattered out the movement yeah. from the two supports. So they, they like that Observer Ward even peeps into the river, so they saw him a good 10 seconds ago. Overall though, I think that FN's movements is actually, or FNG's movements has actually been really, really good on the IO. Like he was there to save the Disruptor up top, he secured the mid lane for the Tinker, he didn't die to the first blood smoke. Like there's just been so many plays from him in just the first five minutes of the game. Down on the bottom, mind control. And, of course, the SK both having a similar amount of farm down here. We're going to see a bit more attention at this way, potentially. Shemba the Slayer was in the neighborhood, but actually turning back towards the mid lane because the jump comes in from Miracle with a flame gun. He may just get this. Looking towards Iceberg, Kroki comes in with a smack. And they will punish the Tinker. Miracle to survive. And Fyler looks a bit, yeah, keeping himself up there. And, yeah, nice bit of play. And the kill desperately needed, but at the same time, up top, FN sees an opportunity, jumps in. With what I imagine would have been the Omni, yeah, it's on cooldown. He used the Omni there to, to secure the kill against Batuma Man, who was left alone. Uh, three for two, Liquid still with the lead, but... I don't know, who are you favoring at the moment? Bro, just looking at the way that this game started, do you feel a little more confident for one of these sides? Still seems pretty even. There's uh, a lot of more stacks, though, on Vega, so I think they're actually going to get, like, the farm that yeah. they need very early on. Uh, FNG has been very active in helping us team and securing the stacks. They also have a stack close to where the Juggernaut is, and Sven was whacking at it a few times, but now Juggernaut is able to pull and get himself way ahead in terms of farm. I thought the Sven had treads before he died, but he's actually just still has brown boots, whereas the Juggernaut has phase and had 800 gold to boot. Now only 400. And the Man has got to be careful in this lane indeed. For the start up it. The FN has got on the Juggernaut. We're going to see a bit of backup come in as uh, Liquid sending three heroes up towards the top. So maybe once again going to try and do something about this Juggernaut. FN fairly low at the moment. And, uh, we'll see if they get any potential to catch him out. Moving across but again this ward giving the signal for Vega to play it safe. Keep FN back and out of harm's way. And unless they want to dive, Liquid are going to struggle to find this. Yeah, it might be a good time for them to start blowing through their smokes. Because they're running around a lot, but they're not getting kills. And either you think that the team just has amazing awareness, which they do, or they have eyes on you. And if they have eyes on you, best ways to smoke at some point. But it's going to be tough for them, especially with nighttime just ending. The Rooster Crow. Uh, they back away, not going to be able to find anything with that movement. I mean, as you, uh, as we noticed, obviously some good stats coming out from Vega in the jungle. Uh, do you just straight up give them to the Tinker, or are you looking to try and get SK to the Blink Dagger on a good time? I mean, is there a certain hero you think their priorities that uh, prioritize the stacking for? I actually think Tinker, yeah. just so they can get them involved more in the relocate kills, because FN has, FNG is going to be 
decently high level this game. All right, time towards bottom of Timberman. He's opted to come down here and look for the farm, but as long as the Sand King sticks around, it's still not necessarily going to be the easiest lane for him to to stand up against Max SK. And if they can kill him, though, that'd be great. And with the help of Kuroki, they can certainly look to do so, but Mac gets a nice Sparrow strike out. He was too slow with the Boulder Smash. Kuroki not quick enough for the lockdown. Meanwhile, mid lane, nice Burp being gone on by Miracle. A quick kind of fake TP there from Pager, enough to stop Miracle from sticking around for more. At top lane, Mind Control having to be careful, and Omni Slash is available from that Ben. Mind Control trying to keep himself near the creek. He's going to look for the lucky bounces. Won't get those, but the Blade Fury is enough to finish it off, and a sweet TP out as well from FN. Plays that very nicely, makes the Dark Seed drop his wall, and also lose his life. Yeah, FN's playing actually very well this early game, getting the kill on the spin, and the, the Dark Seer was kind of becoming a menace, like he was pressuring the lanes, trying to deal with these melee farmers in the side lanes, like solo killing Mag early on. Uh, but now, after he's been killed right there with a lot of unreliable gold uh, to his name, I think that Darks is going to have a very slow mech and Liquid's timing is just going to be far too slow. Relocate, like they, they took out some of the stack already, and then it's almost 10 minutes in, so he can buy a tome, and uh, all their things are going to start hitting Relocate, plus Juggernaut getting his first big item, and then Tinker getting his BOTs. It's also going to start hitting soon. Whereas, yeah, like a Sven with just an HOD, like how is he really going to? to be able to secure his Ancients and help his team out. Ember Spirit didn't have that great of a start, so he's not even close to his BOTs or whatever his first item may be. You suggested that Liquid, if they want to try and find some action, they've got to go for these smokes, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Kuroki Mind Control coming around with Bulba as well into the jungle. I mean, they would have known that the stacks were, were being made, being cleared, but they're late. too late. Yeah. They had a really good window when they yep. went on the Sand King on the bottom, uh, because both the supports were actually taking out the stacks, but they, they've just missed their timing. They haven't gotten the kills, and they're scrambling to recover. Now, looks like off the back of this smoke, they won't find anything initially. Kuroki gets himself in position to maybe kick something off on the mid lane. I think already has boss though. Like if you kill him right yeah. now, it's not that big of a deal. You might get the tower, which is kind of a big deal, but look at his position too. He's on the south side. He's even expecting a smoke wrap around from the north. Uh, he's hit that 10 minute timing, as you said, on the bots. And yeah, that's the first hurdle gone for him. And Liquid realized that uh, TP mind control out of it. He'll head towards the top, try and put a bit of pressure back on there. Stop FM from getting too much damage down onto the tower. But as we can see, top three net worth for the moment, all on the side of Vega. And at this point, it's it's probably going to keep that way unless Liquid can find these pickoffs. They just do not have the cores that can necessarily catch up until the stacks start being made by the Ancients. But Tumaman's able to clear those up. And of course, until we see a few more items picked up on Miracle, because at the moment, he's uh, just kind of got the, the kind of the basics, you know, the, the beginner start to, to, to playing the Ember Spirit. No bots and not really started to build his way uh, towards Battle Fury or such. So Miracle needing more time, Liquid needing more time as a whole, and Vega just in the driver's seat at the moment. Especially with the Sand King Blink Dagger yes. already. Uh, he died in lane, but he has Blink Dagger and things are starting to become very troublesome. They have like, who do they want to gink? Tinker had excellent positioning, covered his tracks with double marshes. FN just spins the wave and just backs off to the tower. Relocate is up, so in case anyone else get ganked, they're in a lot of trouble. And Miracle actually tried to jump in there, cancel the TP there with the chains, but a little bit too late on the action. So he's just going to have to make the walk back towards the mid lane. Yeah, he knows they can't actually kill him unless they have a destructive level 6. So he's trying to split them up a little bit and keep them away from the fortified positions of their T1. And if they don't, then he'll just take some of their neutrals. It's time. Vega, smoke up. Aye, aye, aye. With the Static Storm, Epicenter, and the lot ready to go. Icebergs can have a fair bit of burst of control in this fight as well on the Tinker. Smoke to be dispelled. Can they actually find the jump? Miracle? It's got to be careful here. And here we have the setup. The Burrow Strike allowing him to close in. Static Storm will easily drop down. Bulba's coming in. Maybe trouble to trick, but he actually walks into the Static Storm. Walks back out. Now gets it off. But a relocate comes through. Bring in an FN. FN, he has an obvious action to to use it. And he will jump forward. Take down a second. The Epicenter comes out. 3-4 down on Liquid. And Vega just ripped them to pieces there in the mid lane. Everything executed to perfection there by Vega Squadron. And Liquid just with no ways of stopping it at this stage of the game. 
You know, they actually had an Observer Ward once a smoke pod. There's an Observer Ward in the mid lane that saw the Sand King, and Miracle still didn't get out of there. What? The, what's going on, Ben? He, uh, he, I, I, maybe, I think he didn't think that the Destructor was level 6, because when I checked, he was like 5.5. Maybe he had a surprise kill on him, or maybe he just got it from some neutral creeps, but he wasn't level 6 at the time, and maybe he felt safe. Uh, aside from that, I think maybe he was trying to wait for the Sand King to channel Epicenter, and then uh, try and make him waste it, maybe trying to get a little bit too much out of that, but and the smoke pops, they ping him out, he's like right under the Observer Ward, and Disruptor is level 6 at this exact moment, and just bought the static storm out of top of him. The Shadow Demon comes in, but Disruptor isn't enough to save him, and they relocate around from the back, and they just get crushed. Now, so yeah, a few quick crits from FN, and then just e <laughs> jumps in with an Omni to secure that final third and such, but yeah, that was an absolute mess for the side of Liquid. Liquid, though, and did find something in return as they took down a kill onto the Tinker. So, at least something to kind of get themselves a bit of a footing back in this game. But FN absolutely sailing out of control, as we can see. 7.4k net worth on the Juggernaut. 3k ahead of the highest farmer on the side of Liquid. This, this Jug is getting out of control. Their best attack. way to get back in the game, Liquid, is to control the Ancient Stag. If they control the Ancient Stag, they can actually do pretty decently in terms of uh, trying to keep the net worth. But like, uh, it's kind of ugly right now in between the Jug and the Sven, yep. but... And Vega can't really farm the Ancients that much, and it's also uh, just a very difficult place to gank, especially if this T1 is still alive and healthy, which it is in the mid lane. It's like 95% HP, so if they can keep this up and keep stacking with the HOD, I think they'll be okay for uh, some time, as long as they don't give away too many kills to the Sinking and the Disruptor. All right, look at the search the mid lane. More money to the Bank of Miracle. As uh, he'll stick around towards the mid. Up towards the top, the pings are being made, but to my man's headed up there to clean the wave as it comes through. My control has the mech done as well, so Liquid with a few more tools coming together, ready for the team fights that they do and shoot. There's smoke though, Mag and Disruptor trying to look for someone in the river. It could be Bulba. Oh, the Mag preparing with the epicenter, jumps into beautiful Boros, trying to conquer the static storm as well, gets the moment for Mind Control, pops the mech, they're keeping themselves alive, Omni Smash coming through with the back line, the wall speed drop, but Dancy is out, the play through from Mech, takes down a second double kill for the Jug, glints back onto Bulba, brought back into the midst of it all, he'll disrupt himself, but at the moment they are losing nothing, getting a third as the Boros strike comes through, triple kill for FN, putting the Jug even further ahead this game. They did end up losing FNG, but this Jug getting even more each and every fight and putting himself on another level now. 9k net worth at 15 minutes in. That was a perfect epicenter by Mag right there. And a perfect Radiant's blink too. He blinked right on top of the Earth Spirit and got a double stun. And all of that mostly due to good Observer Ward setup. They saw them coming up the hill and having to blow through some of their smokes early because they had eyes on them the whole entire time. Liquid are going to have to farm their way back into this game, it looks like. Yeah, they really are going to have to play the long game here, Liquid. They need more and more time for this Sven and Ember Spirit combination to get to get to that strong point, which they, you know, they, they will be able to do so if uh, they're able to maintain a, a game in which they're not losing team fights as bad as those that are happening. They need to to try and avoid them, or as you said, just. Get a bit, a bit of better vision up so they know what they can expect in these fights and not get caught off they, guard as much as they have been by the Sand King. They're grouped up in mid. They look like they kind of wanted to smoke. They dropped a the sentry to make sure, okay, they have smoked right now. Uh, but I don't know. Radiant Vega has been really good about attack. just sensing these out Radiant and flushing them out. Look at their position right now. No one's even really that far away from a tower right now. I think the call has been made that they are making an aggressive maneuver. Radiant's so to get away with it. I mean, Vega seem very much prepared for this. They know exactly what's happening. They they threw a scan out. Yep. They expected it from the top. Tinker feels safe to farm this camp. And now they know it, they have to know it's on the bottom side. Maybe they suspect that it's a Roshan. But now they're plugging the Zerver Ward, making sure that they haven't taken control of their Ancients. And they have controlled this game very well. And just not making those, you know, utter mistakes that just throws away your lead. But some man still stacking up farming. He's getting there. Liquid just waiting. And now I will TP out, at least send Miracle up towards the top lane. They know. And they want to maybe try for the kill onto Tinker. But Kuroki rolls in 
Tanking a huge amount of hits for the tier 2, now they'll jump across onto Iceberg. And what is going to be dropped, they do get it, but the Prototype off the 3 comes out. FS there to follow through with the Blaze Fury, damage drops down. Mike is going to Miracle's going to be stuck in it as well as he comes out with the disruption. 3 dead, Arm oh, Liquid make that 4 as Bulba falls on the side. And again, these fights, they're just being Radiance ripped to pieces for Liquid. What a godly static storm from <laughs> the Disruptor. Yes. Oh my goodness. They still have a team fight wombo possible for them, and they did get the Tinker. Tinker's actually not as farm as you would expect. He's actually behind the Ember Spear right yeah, now. He's, yeah, he's kind of tailed off, especially after they did feed him those stats in the jungle. He's he's been picked up a few times. Yeah, he really wanted his Blink Dagger. Yeah. Just farmed out a little bit too far at that instant. But you know, the the, the good thing is he has this Jug who's just <laughs> oh Jug is. Yeah, absolutely wrecking face this game. Radiance middle tower is yes, he is, attack. Owen. He is insanely far ahead. The work it was with Defusal. Getting this tower. That's going to be putting him a little bit more stolen in the bank. Mid lane, hello. Bit of a jump in, in fact. Miracle. Looks like he'll be fine. No static storm or searching. In fact, Miracle can turn and maybe try for a kill. He was thinking about it, but uh, he's going to play it safe this time. Doesn't want to go in and get caught out by a turnaround from Vega. And he do top tower to fall. Vega taking more control of the map. And FN with the Omni Slash up. Uh, relocate, this will still be on cooldown, but yeah, back up in a, literally a second. So you've got to be careful if you're Liquid coming out of the map because FNG and FM will be ready to team up and jump back in onto you. Yeah, even more items out on Vega at the moment. The Yules and like the Diffusal are actually kind of problematic because it can deal with the Ember Spear very, very easily. Yules them into a uh, stun, Yules them into a Static Storm, or even just take off his uh, shield. Yep. And he's going to be a super easy target to kill. Do you feel either side is, is going to be able to look towards Roshan then anytime soon, or is that not really something that these, these lineups are, are going to be able to do? Vega definitely with the Healing Ward. Yeah. Healing Ward is really, really good, as well as just having a Wisp. I think even Wisp without the Healing Ward, they'd still be my more favorable Roshan lineup. It's just that Ember Spear is one of the worst heroes in taking down Rosh. He's just, he's just awful. We have the setup onto Max. That is still down as well. Then bringing him back up with the Iron Miracle caught out. And he's going to go down. The question can Vega get themselves anything else. FN staging up the high ground, will blink up. Matsuma Man actually running himself away. Can't make a God's Gem of the Slayers. He gets off with the Glimmer Cape. He's going to be out. Only one down. Most of the rest of them will survive. FN being played around with him. In fact, he's jumped forward. Then the Omni Slash looks towards Kroki. Max there with a Barrow Strike. And Vega making sure that once again they get themselves a good amount of kills in these pickoffs. Two kills, losing nothing in return. And 16 to 6. Vega still in the lead this game. And Liquid still just struggling to find the, the safety to get Miracle out and such and, and start to build towards those items that he, he absolutely needs to deal with the pushes that are inevitably going to come through from Vega. I think that Liquid were trying a different system for their supports this game. Notice that Kuro and Bulba have been together almost the whole entire game, even from minute zero when they smoked to level one. I think their their support play wasn't the greatest in their other series. In this game, I think they're trying something different. It's like, okay, let's just move together at the same time so you know two supports are stronger than one, except when it's very obvious where you are going to go and you keep walking under Observer Wards. So I think that... It was maybe an experiment uh, by Liquid to see if they can mesh it a little bit better by having these two guys constantly together. However, it has not paid off for them because of Vega's incredible presence of mind as well as placement of Observer Wards. They do have a gem on Liquid, so they are trying to limit the area. There's another smoke. I think it was actually caught by the Observer Ward in the mid lane, though. I think some pings did come out. We'll yeah, see how Vega reacts to this. They know for sure. Oh, right, so then quick, if Liquid can't get the Wombo combo jumping though, it could be huge, man. For the first strike to the two back line, it's still going to be getting in, but the man, let's get those jumps there, it could change. But the Miracle catches out one, that's going to be the disruption down, but now, potential turnaround coming in from Vega. Max is going to be caught out by the Sun, Magna Touch is already there, is the vacuum coming through, two down now, Vega, this is the fight that Liquid need. A slide from Miracle takes down a third, they zip across, finding the Sanking as well. This time, Liquid with the fight that they wanted. As you mentioned, it did look like Vega should have spotted that out with the, the one in they, the mid lane. They but... did. I think they pinged it, but their yeah. positioning was just terrible. No one was there to actually pop the smoke and get vision. I think Mag's stun was actually a blind stun into there. 
because he like they didn't they didn't have vision. They had a sentry ward over there. Liquid did, so they know that they actually don't have vision. So when they pop, they still felt very very good. okay. That's that. That that's the that's the right. Oh, he did as well. Oh, wow. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty good fight for them, but after losing DS and the gem, it's two steps forward, one step back. Yeah, and, and they're still not killing FM. Puts back on Broki. Nice bit of a block there at the roll in. Io's gonna bring in FN again and they're looking for taking down this earth but they've got little damage as they have. Broki's out between the man trap and the TP away. He should make it. Miracle already starting to remnant himself out of this one to jump forward. Oh, but trying to TP out isn't gonna get out. And again, I think that really cements it. You know, you said the gem in itself was enough to really kind of say, all right, Vega didn't come out too badly. There, having them stopping the push as well, defending the tier one and getting three. You know, at the end of the day, it's, it wasn't as great as, as a trade as it could have been for Liquid if they could have taken the team fight, especially losing Miracle as well in the mid. FN beyond Godlike. The slaughter just does not end. This juggernaut sailing ahead by a country mile, 11-0-6. They just could not kill the Juggernaut. They thought they were okay because he had used all his spells and TP it out and then boom, relocate back in yeah. and they're like, uh, okay, <laughs> we're done for here. We're done, guys. Uh, 24 minutes in, 20 to 11, quite a bit of a bloodbath this game. And, uh, and Miracle down wow. again. How's he doing? He did put well, the Perseverance, but still. This is an interesting build. Up here. We have the BOTs yeah. already coming out on the Juggernaut. This is a very early switch over from the phase boots. I think this is so he can actually kill uh, with the Sand King a yeah. lot more and kill the Ember Spirit and or the Sven. Sven doesn't have BKB yet right now, so he's actually quite vulnerable. And this way they can relocate someone else, like relocate with the Sand King and two BOTs, one with the Jug, one with the Tinker. It's four heroes. It's better than a Nate's I mean, first. Looking but. towards Mr. Maman as well, do you feel he has to get the BKB or do you absolutely you need more damage? You he just to. has to get it first. Yeah, there's just. Yeah. Like, if, imagine he just God's Strange is just sitting yeah. in a kinetic field. <laughs> that would be so sad. Or he gets blinded, or he gets yeah. stunned by the same king, or he gets glimpsed back. Even a tether slow is like very pesky to deal with. So then are you looking for him to get the BKB and then trying to fight or do you need to get the BKB and then continue to avoid fights until you do get something like a Crystalis as well? I think they can take fights like that if they yeah. catch Vega by surprise. It's not like they have any BKBs. If they can somehow catch the Juggernaut in like a blink vacuum into a Stormbolt, they could easily win the fight. But the problem is FN has just had godly plays this game <laughs> and is beyond godlike oh, with his kill score. Uh, my mistake as well, actually. There was, uh, it was, they did have the rest of the Battle Fury on the Courier, so and Miracle has at least got that one complete. He'll have a bit of a better time pushing the waves back out. Uh, yeah, BKB now complete for Matuma Man, so slowly getting the tools together on Liquid. Yeah, they're getting there. He sh definitely shouldn't die in his BKB. BKB was War Cry is yes. impenetrable yeah. when uh, Juggernaut, even the Juggernaut this farm, he can't kill him during the BKB. I'm going to check, see if. Uh, and the vision is out here for the side of Vega, it's yeah, not. They lost a gem though, so that's like, they have to play yeah. sentries, they lost a gem, that's like, you know, 2,000 gold. That's swung Vega's way. See what they're going to go for here, Liquid. I mean, I guess at the moment they don't have any vision of Vega, so maybe a bit scared that Vega are coming to them. They have one smoke. They want to, they need to decide whether or not they want to use it now or save it for a better day because they don't have that many options. They need to make Radiant's this one count. Bottom tower is under attack. FN and FNG maybe seeing to, to put some pressure down bottom. There'll be a scan by Roshan from Liquid. Uh, it's not going to clip anyone on the side of Vega. And indeed Vega themselves not looking to take Roche as of yet. Just want to try and get the tier 2 down from bottom. Ping's actually on for mid lane. Sankin essentially has to be a bit careful on his own. Will blink out. Mind Control tried to go in there, they popped the dust, the vacuum, seeing if they could get a bit of a grab onto the SK, but it wasn't going to be the case. More gold down the drain, and time. And Vega just avoiding the, the whole altercation towards the mid lane. FM finds the tower down bottom, more money into the Jugs Bank. And Liquid do have the Crete Wave pushed around towards top, so they themselves could look for a bit of a trade. They can easily defend this though with the BOTs and the yep. relocate, so they, I think it's a matter of whether or not they actually want to fight. Dyer's middle tower is under and Liquid's going to ping onto Roshan. They'll smoke up and make a beeline over towards the Roche pit. They're worried about Vega Dyer's going for it. 
Baker, of course, yet to enter into it. And uh, Miracle Light should get the tier two for free. So they do get the tower trade. But it all could kick off around this Roche Pip. FN. FN. Has to be careful, but some man gets the jump in with the Storm out of the box straight. And Vaper to pieces and he's down. The Vex got a ball smash onto FNG as well, and he's off as well. Two down on Vega. And, well, yeah, the Jug does not have buyback gold. Yep, they made that down. score count. That was... That was, huge. that was a perfect blink stun by this man. Very patient from him, waiting for the rest of his team to come around. And FNG thought he had the save, but yeah, Jug's just so squishy if he doesn't get his spin off in time. And there was just no way that he could at that point. And we're in the bank as well. Liquid starting to get a bit of a, of a better foothold on this game. I'm surprised Vega didn't actually go for Roach. I think they could have gone for Roach as Miracle was hitting top T1 tower, or top T2 rather. But instead, all they got were a few neutrals, and that's about it. I got the FN's name, and a pretty bounty going Sven's way. Was it Sven who got the kill? I'm not sure. I think it was Sven. Yeah, probably. Seven. It was... Oh, yes, he, it was. Yeah, he got, he, no, he got Io. Oh, he got Io. But that means he didn't get the Sven because he only has one kill. Yes. Whoever got that is. <laughs> it's, he's rich. Maybe it's Kuro because he has 3,000 gold right now. <laughs> Oh, it's Mike's shot. I think Weppus, yes. Okay. He's communicating with us. <laughs> it was Mike. Thanks, Weppus. For keeping your eyes on the game, but anyway. That's, uh, yeah, money into the bank for the boys on Liquid. And I mean, this game does get a bit scary for Vega. You know, if they start losing these trays, Miracle and Matuma Man continue to find the big items. I mean, as, it, as this game scales on, yeah. it's, it's pretty nasty. It is, because I haven't really felt Tinker this game, really. Like, he's just been farming, but... He's like not even that high on a net worth, no? and like BKB Sven can just mow him down so quickly. And it's not really like Liquid are under pressure to push, which is where Tinker shines. It's like, you know, if you're up against a Tinker and you have to push, you're just going to run in waves of marches and have all your lanes pushed in. But they don't really have that pressure. I think even the Ember Spirit it can do a lot of damage to the Tinker if he's cut out at this point. A middle, TP's to come in, Mag, keeping his eyes on this from the high ground. Ah, gotta be careful, Miracle coming across. Mag's already on the retreat. He spotted all out by the ward, but they're not gonna make a jump forward onto him. Pressure being put on by FN's illusions onto the tier two, but Miracle's there to clean it out. And Liquid, just regaining a bit of control around this area of the map. That's How much system. gold has the Tumble Man gotten from the Zanctions? I swear he's farmed like 15 camps in the last 30 yeah, minutes. He's done a hell of a lot and it's yeah, really showing. You know, He's only now 2k behind the FN's Jug. And the FN's Jug's been having a ridiculous game. So for the Tumble Man to catch up like this is, is looking very impressive. And he's really going to start to deal the damage. I mean, what's going on at the moment? 3k gold in the bank. So, I mean, you'd obviously imagine what the, the day list to come out next, I guess probably waiting for the ages to expire before he picks that up as he doesn't really have a slot to trade anything out for it he could also get mkb yeah uh be oh, to yeah, deal laser. with laser as well as a potential butterfly from juggernaut but i think Daedalus is much safer heart heart possibly too might not be a bad choice Dyer's middle tower is under attack the turn man gonna do this and an iceberg yeah he's spreading around him the turn man just to just skip the way Heart's nice for situations like this. When you get spammed down, you're like, okay, well, I'm at a quarter HP, and a mech doesn't really help me out that much. <laughs> I mean, look at this up top as well. Mag and Shoma, they're hoping for a bit of a catch. They're going to use Iceberg to bait. Uh, no one from the good at the moment is kind of biting. A lot of pings coming out. And there's Mike Joe saying, look out, boys. There's, there's some people hiding there. You want to be careful about going to that top tier too. And at the end of the day, this is working out for Liquid. Wasted time essentially for those two heroes. Miracle's getting the pressure onto tier two mid. And he should be able to find it. More money to the bank. And as Miracle's game is really starting to pick up after a rocky start that Liquid had. But at this stage, Vega not quite finding the objective they want to. Miracle's going to come down bottom and he actually might get caught out by this. The burst strike's not going to connect. Doesn't look like they're going to do damage. Maybe with FN coming in, they do. Hold us back. Look, Kuroki are catching out for and allowing Miracle to get out. Microsoft is the vacuum that will bring them down low. I don't think they can get any kills out of this one. FN just walking the Omni Stash to PKB, but the bounces are not good. He's all across the creeps and not across the heroes. Vega don't find any of the kills here. Liquid keep themselves alive. 
and the gank was uh, not successful that Vega were looking to set up from hiding in the tree line. The Lincoln Spear caught them by surprise on the Ember Spirit. They need to break that with a glimpse, I would say, first, uh, before they actually initiate on him. But that was that's that item saved his life. And Vega, maybe starting to get a bit Radiance desperate here with these attempts. Attack. They need to find something because Matuma Man really stepping up to be a bit of a beast. And the, the wombo combo can certainly be real for Liquid as well. The Dark Zero Spirit, Sven, uh, even obviously with the, the, the Battle Fury on the, the Ember Spirit, it's all there. FM, it's going to go clear the way, TP out. Nothing at the moment that's going to be able to hold him back through through the Magic Immunity, so he's golden. Now Vega dewarding some side of their map with the gem that they acquire from Liquid. But as you mentioned, it is getting scary. Sven is unstoppable with the Aegis at least. What did he put his money into? What's he got on the car? Ah, yeah. He's just looking for the straight up Daedalus. Blink on Miracle. So, I mean, Miracle now with the Blink and the Lincoln Sphere. Very, very hard for the side of Vega to catch out if he plays it right and it's Miracle, so we can certainly assume that he is going to. The net worth where Vega had that lead with FN having the great start that he did is now started to turn right around with the farm that Matuma Man and Miracle are picking up. This game is getting harder and harder for Vega Squadron. Liquid still need to breach high ground at some point, and he mentioned like Ember Spear coming online, you know, with his Battle Fury plus a couple other other items. I think the Tinker is also starting to hit pretty hard now that he has his Aether and Axe in his inventory. If they ever want to push, but they don't really need to push except Sven. I guess he's kind of close to maxing out. Bot Satanic, not huge upgrades for him. Uh, looks like Bulb and Crokey realizing that he's got to be careful there with presence in the jungle. Actually, good jump forward from the man onto FN, and FN gets the Omni Slash out, but he's almost certainly going to die after it. He's very low on health, and he's out. They can find himself one big kill now. Let's try moving for more. Iceberg gets the blink out to the east. Miracle looked for the prediction towards the left, but he was off point. The Stormhammer, that is going to connect them. Matuma Man with a good duration of the BKB. Goes forward with the Ghost Strike, chops down the Tinker in two. Max in trouble as well. Burrow strikes down. The slow form the Demonic Purge still holding in place. Matuma Man is there for chop, but he gets it. The triple kill for Sven. And this game, an absolute turnaround, really, as Liquid now playing with Vega Squadron. Sherman's actually going to have to be relocated out by FNG. But Matuma Man. He was just a one-man oh squad right there. Yeah, he's he's doing it. He's now on par with FN's farm and Liquid. They're ready to go in deep behind the tier fours, right next to the ancient. They chop down FNG. And his little blue ball. And this game, it's it's getting to the point now, Ben. Where I don't know how Vega can win this. Well, Tinker getting caught out like that right before a big push. That's when Sven just got his Daedalus too. So they didn't, they really didn't stand a chance at that point, but. There were several things that went wrong for them. Firstly, yep. they did not control the ancient tech at all. They dropped an observer ward, one observer ward, I think, and didn't actually stop them from farming. I think the jug was double Sven's net worth. And now I think Sven is, is, is over the juggernaut in terms of net worth. And then the Tinker just really didn't do that much. I think that like Mag oh maybe God. didn't coordinate that well with his team in order to get some kills, but Overall, it's a shoddy mid game. Oh, some of that's been left behind. He has got the God Strength on the BKB. He's going to try and turn a fight against FN, but FN's going to take it. FN's going to keep it out for the time being. Storm Man on to Mac. Because Mac at the top of that, insane amounts of damage. Takes down Sanky. He's got himself anything more. Miracle comes in, snatch the healing ward. Now he's going to be a bit careful. Some of the Slayer comes in back, but Tumor Man still hungry for blood. But the only person in the Tumor Man chopped down Miracle as well. Tagged a fair bit of it. And FN incredibly low. The static so making sure the Miracle has trouble jumping forward. He actually do anything here, Miracle tries with the slide of fist, not enough damage at the moment. They get themselves out of there. So, getting them a Tumor Man kill, pretty big here for the side of Vega. They need more of that at this stage of the game to cost them the SK's life. They also had some good RNG on their side too when Sven didn't crit, yes. the, crit the jug. Woo! I <laughs> think that was just a good game over right there. That's close. Crash is going to be picked up as... FM will look to work towards that Abyssal Blade. Have a bit more control for the heroes like the Amber. Kuroki. 200% to clear lanes. But 
37 minutes and 18 to 22. Matuma Mass in a very good position. The gold lead swung around to about 7.5k now in favor of Liquid. So a real turnaround this game. Yeah, one thing that I didn't touch upon too is the Jug build. Yep. Jug went Blink first into Manta, then Defusal, then BKB, and Basher. But his build's not actually that good at dealing with the Sven. Like, if you Manta, you'll just get destroyed. The Defusal doesn't do any damage versus the Sven's BKB, and he has a ton of armor already, and you can kind of lock him down with the Skull Basher, but you don't actually have that much attack speed uh, with a build either. So he, uh, and he went for BOTs early, switching out the phase. So that's kind of a, a lot of lost gold uh, right there. But the point is, he can't man fight this Sven. Sven just like three shots him at this point, and perhaps like a Lord Butterfly HOD armor centric build would have served him a little bit better. I can understand like the Manta though, like you're worried about the Earth Spirit catching you out in silence and you're just dying, but he has the Wiz to back him up. He can also just defuse himself without having a full commit. Oh, FX! He just into the pit. He's looking for Croak. He's not going to get the kill. He's bought the BKB for that one, and he's just going to have to walk it back out. Maybe hoping for a, a few more bashes and then you know, he would have got away with that. Ah. Ah, it was a little risky as well. I mean, Liquid were around in the neighborhood. They may have even had the chance to turn it around on FN, but he does back out. Daedalus now has done a miracle. It's the damage output of the Liquid is very strong at the moment. Mind Control charge for the vacuum. Doesn't quite get it in time onto the Tinker, but in fact, oh, hello, hello. The push coming in. Laker's going to try and fight this one. Baroki actually going straight into the base here. He will get taken down, but this will allow the space for Tumamat to find the SK kill. Laker, can they do anything to stop this push? I mean, at the least, Liquid will find the tier two, and they'll back off. So, a bit of, a, a bit of an awkward roll there in for Baroki as he heads it up into the high ground. But I guess it gets the job done. Makes space for the tier two. Now it's the man moving into the pit. Vega without the SK, unlikely to be able to contest it. Yep. And he just got, I think, one shot by Metal Man's like a 1300 crit. And come to think of it, none of Vega have built any sort of armor items. So like this all in on physical damage from the Ember and the Sven is going to work out real well for them. <laughs> and the drop, the build, the planning, Liquid certainly did seem to suffer early on in the game. But we always felt that if they could get it to a certain point, it was going to look a lot better. If Matuma Man and Miracle found their farm, and they certainly have now at this point of the game, as Vega finding a lot harder. And that's going to try and jump in for the fight with the BKB. Goes to the Omni Slash on Matuma Man. It's just going to bottle that helps them take lots of burning, but it does mean that they're jumping. They'll get the kill on Kuroja. FN has to actually deny the Aegis pilot. They didn't have a slot. Didn't want Liquid to get their hands on it. And when Miracle comes, he's actually going to get the kill on the Ember Spray. Miracle down for 90 seconds. Now a play from Jug. Yeah, nice straight nice disruption out. from Bulba. Yeah, keeps Matuma Man alive. But he he... It. The quick fingers of the deny is Radiant's really what did the trick. Yeah, Radiant's say if Miracle was able to get his hands on that Aegis, that certainly could have turned around that fight. He, he, they obviously could have killed him once, but killing him twice, probably unlikely with the amount that they blew on him to, to take him down once. We'll see how much Vega can get done with this minute with Miracle off the map. I mean, it looks like they're, they're playing it relatively safe. They don't really want to push in too hard as they are still worried about the, the fighting power of the rest of Liquid's fort. Abyssal Blade done on FN. But Summer Man, I mean, where does he kind of go with this build now? Is, is it, as you said, just looking towards a Satanic? Yeah, Satanic, then Moonshard. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, there you go. Actually sells the Helm of the Dominator uh, to pick up the Moonshard. Hmm, that's unusual. Usually you pick up the Moonshard if you can expect to consume it in place of an Aegis, but because the Roshan just died, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's trying to end the game right now. That's actually very unusual. Yeah, selling it that early. Yeah, because he doesn't have any, like, sustain either. Uh, do they have any Vlads on the team? I don't believe no. so. They don't, yeah, no, no lifesteal at the moment. Yeah, no lifesteal, no HP regen. Yeah. They've got Greaves and... Oh. I guess they've got the green. Yeah, almost a pipe, I suppose, on Kuro. Yeah. But if you want to break base versus Tinker, I think generally you need to get some sustain or else you have to rely on being able to pick them off outside of base, which they have been doing. Damn bottom, Iceberg. Smokes up. Miracle very, very close by. See him get the jump forward, Miracle. I of Iceberg. Iceberg actually there yeah, with the back of the channel there. They've got the static storm. Look for the turnaround, Miracle, he's going to get taken down. That's the Ember Spirit out for 90 seconds. Now, if he can get themselves anything more there. Coming over from Matuma Man, Matuma Man. 
going to be fine, but they've lost Miracle down for 80. Mike Control trying to chase down Max. Roshi coming across as well. FN trying to get back out of this one. The lasers bounce through. Vega still 1-1 at the moment. Now making it for a second. Max up with the epicenter. Mind Control to fall as well. And Liquid ending up losing 4 here. An absolute mess of a team fight. None of these heroes with buyback available. Tinker Hex? What the hell happened, Ben? Tinker Hex? Yeah. It just absolutely ruined them. Yeah, he owned the Sven. Because Sven has been the one that's just been crushing Radiant them in the fights. And now that his BKB attack. is six seconds, he's not able to do that much. And also, he, you know, he didn't have Satanic. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't have helped him out that much, but at least he wouldn't have to back off that early Radiant from the sheep. So attack. now they realize they had they to be able to kill the... I thought Liquid had this. I thought they had it as well. They were just like owning them in base. And they're going to lose, uh, well, well, lose at least one set of rats. Finally, Tinker has shown up to play. Modification will come through. Liquid are going to be able to do some sort of defense here. God's trying to BKB up from the Summer Man. At least the melee racks up. That's already gone and they can all to play a set. Yeah. He might need an MKB though, because his BKB duration is so low. Like he, yeah. A solution to that is also Refresher Orb. You can just refresh and double BKB with double God Strain. Uh, either I think would work, but I think Refresher might be better because of the Hex. He needs to be able to kill the Tinker. I'm a Swimmer Man and Miracle. They're headed up top of the smoke. Maybe seeing if they uh, would have a chance at. Catching out the Tinker. They're pinging towards the base. The cool wave has pushed right in. I'll take that as and do they want to try and make a make a fight happen in here? With the smoke. They're kind of playing around with the idea. FN. Towards the Ancients. Liquid now. Behind the tree line. They want to maybe get a bit of a surprise jump if anyone of Vega comes forward here. I'll see if they can get it. Max there at the moment. But a fly now done from FN. And Liquid can't find the jump that they want. And so mine's been drawn by Shaman, just getting Vega to push the same back out. That's Ben's day. Might get jumped on, he will be. Matilda Man comes in easily with the Storm Man. Let's give a kick there, though. That's the save, FN. Matilda Man tries to get a stick towards the FFG. I only get it. FN looks for finding back with the defensive treasure in there from Bulba. Saves mine control. The FFG goes through there. Matilda Man going to get a miracle. It's going to go from there to head. The lasers from Iceberg. And again, Liquid lose four. It's, I mean, at this stage as well, we're seeing how much Iceberg can do in these fights with the Aghanim Scepter, yeah, he, with the Cypher Vice. owning now. And he ju just picked up his Butterfly. That he, he was at like 40% HP. Without the Butterfly, he would have been in critical HP range. And this might be over. I mean, 70 seconds, there's no miracle. You could buy back on Matumba Man, but he doesn't have God Strength. It's between Matumba Man and Sam to hold yeah. this off. If if he makes a misstep, though, he's going to get Karma Hex and just die. So he can't actually fight outside of their T4s at the moment. Not without the rest of his team dead. You know what they're also missing on Liquid is a Lotus Orb. If they had a Lotus Orb on the spin, you can reflect the Omni Slash. You can take the spell a Hex. That would actually be very useful for them. But I don't think they plan on this game getting to this point because it looked like they were... About to like just I mean, look at the graph, Ben. Yeah. Up and down like a razor shot. Liquid really did swing it back, but 10 minutes later, Radiant's and they've given all of that lead back attack. over to the side of Vega. And Vega, Radiant's with this tinkering jug, they're playing the fights perfectly. Iceberg controlling Liquid. Yeah. As you mentioned, but the BKB is getting low, especially you know, on the Timmerman. FN's play at the uh, Roach, too, was yeah. also like, <laughs> game winning. <laughs> Tier 2 down. And now Vega in a position to, to maybe try and break the high ground. They're really going to be tested there. Kuroki hit the ball, just smashed onto Mag. No follow up. And they could, I'm going to try and move forward. A vacuum attempt from Mike trying to grab someone back. Now looks towards Shoma, but he's got the Glimmer King. No detection. And back with Vince back onto Miracle. Vince to Static Shot. And then they jump through. And then pops the BKB. There'll be a defensive disruption from Sam. Can they finish off Miracle on the Ember Square to hit the matches? Miracle heads up the rocket and fly through. Incredibly low. They will get out of the last possible moment. But Matumba Man working towards Iceberg. Iceberg being doing a cake come. He'll get himself out. In fact, I've got Eddie up getting the kill. I think the rocket sailed through and ended up killing off the Ember Square. Closely hexed up. Again, it's a touch of the Trojan. But Max is going to be there. Almost ending with a bonus. Like, coming in. Mike is going to fall. Two down on Liquid. They 
will kill the ticker, but he buys back immediately. They know that this is their chance to finish it, Vega. Three dead on Liquid. None of them with buybacks available. Only again, Matuma Man and Bulba surviving. And this is... What a swing around this game has been. Again, yep. another roller coaster of a show between these two sides. At the start, it was Vega, Vega, Vega. Then Liquid suddenly came online, got themselves ahead. But these last few fights, the Tinker and the team had just been outplaying Liquid as a whole. Even the Disruptor, if he didn't have an axe there, Ember Spirit would have lived. So there was like all these small items that just make a world of difference. If it were that other 91%. <laughs> Yeah, then jumping in, teasing with them. Liquid, they're going to lose these top racks at the least. And there's still 25 seconds, no a miracle. So Vega will stick around, push on the mid lane as well. Liquid, what can they do about this? They have got strength up on the Timberman. But again, as we've seen, it's so hard for to fight into this. Yeah, Vega, they'll take the tier 3 and back. They're not taking any chances at this stage. They realize that they have really managed to recover from what looked like a very, very hard position to, to be pushed back into. And they're going to do their best to not throw that away. And in a game where Matuma Man had kind of caught up with FN's farm and, and got himself slightly ahead, now he's just fallen massively behind. With the swing of the last few fights, FN now back at the top. A clear, what, 8k above Matuma Man's farm now at this stage. Vega can still lose, though, if the Tinker gets picked off. He did end up buying back last fight, which is a good five to six minute window. And during the five to six minute window, Roshan is going to be up. So Liquid can have another lifeline if they can manage to secure this part of the map. They do have the Lotus on Kuro, so that will help deal with a Hex spam. Right, it's going to come down all down to the play now in these fights. Yeah, what and, can Sven do? What can yeah. Tinker do? They need to keep Matsuma Man up and alive. They need to, to make sure that he's able to, to just zone down these heroes, knock them off one at a time, and not worry about being kited up, being hexed by the Tinker post BKB. Even Abyssal too yeah. is uh, very annoying to deal with. They might have to load us in during the BKB because of that, or like pre, like very early on in the fight, instead of reactively. 49 minutes in, 23 to 35. Um, yeah, at the moment, the net worth itself right down to a 20k lead for Vega Squadron. I mean, in all reality, Liquid at this stage, what, what are they looking for? Is it, is it just all about the Tinker? They've got to make sure that they've got someone focusing that Tinker in the fights, making sure that, that somehow Iceberg doesn't get away with these mass, mass hexes and such to control the cause of Liquid. Yeah, and on the fl uh, flip side, just making sure that Matoma Man can do the damage that he needs yeah. to do. And if it like, kills Disruptor very early, then Ember Spirit can actually go in and do his thing. So it's all about making sure Matoma Man, because he's really the only one that can kill the uh, kill the Tinker very yes. very quickly and assuredly. Yeah, I guess he's still at a point where you have 2.2k life points to the Tinker. What, two, two, three hits if you hit a crit, you're, you're taking the Tinker out of the fight. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, yeah, as we're just seeing, just the fact that they can turn around so well. It's, you know, still the mech. The Glimmer Cape, even just something like that from the eye is causing a lot of issues for uh, Liquid in these fights. It just seems to detect and it hasn't always been there. And the Glimmer Cape's just allowed these cores to kind of slip away yeah. out of harm's way. But Disruptor, again, gets this, like, insane amount of farm. This Midas yep. has paid dividends. He's almost six-slotted again. I guess Midas doesn't really count. Well, Mac, with the with the acronyms done as well, an extra bit to add to these team fights. I'll take that as tribute. Something else to pop through the illusions that the Bobber may have out post disruption. And mind controls. And mind controls, of course. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to to get that caustic finale injected into with that Burrow strike. I think Liquid should make a move right now, though, because yep. Roche is about to be up and Tinker doesn't have buyback. This is their best time to come back. A miracle. That's going to be jumped on here. Lynch is going to keep him out of the static summer. Defensive disruption from Pulver. Trying to look to save him for the time being. FN, Demonic purged up. Mind control. Jumping forward. The Omni Stash comes out onto the Timber Man. With the wall climb, the Timber Man not taking too much damage. He will survive. Rock is wrong. He's served up. Ended out of there. He'll get out. Man comes in with the episode of Power Strike forward. Takes down the escape. FN jumps forward as well. They're looking for Mind Control. The Hex is there. They've found two. Two for one trade, favoring Vega. Kuroki's out of there, back to base. They're going to heal Matuma Man back up. They have got Matuma and Miracle alive. The two high damage cores. 
No God, oh, God Strength takes you back online. Okay, God Strength's there now. Miracle jumps in, gets it. Ice Chain, the follow of Storm, I mean, hang on. That's the IO out. Makuma Man, he's controlled by the Abyssal Blade from FNF and just looking to focus for the Mega Cruise. He's going for the objectives, he's going for the racks. He should be able to get the Blade Series up. Burn side comes in on the Man and Miracle. The Rose for Storm, meaning Iceberg ends up hitting himself and they kill this deep cut. Deep cut goes up to dump. There we have it. The Storm Hammer comes in. They need a few options to take down. There's the crit from Miracle. They found the deep cut. The Burn goes on to Kuroki. Miracle, can he do this? He's the only one left alive on the quid. He's got the slight. He's trying to come back in. Can he finish off Mag? Mag, he's gonna head out. There's the chase down, the crit comes through. Miracle finds one. Miracle versus FN out this day. Miracle, fun with the idea of finding around, but this is gonna be a buyback from Mag on the SK. But it's getting to the That's Megas. breaking point of DJ. Yeah, Liquid have been Mega Creeps. Still possible to hold on with Megas. Uh, probably rapier time for Ember, I would say. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Sven did go for a refresher. Kind of necessary. The, the Moonshot kick him actually should set him back a lot. But, yeah, yeah, they they killed Tinker, but they endured too many losses. They did a really, he did a really good job of kiting in between the Ghost Scepters, the Force Stab, uh, just all these tools to help him survive for that oh, extra man. few seconds. And Matuma Man opting to buy back. There's no messing around. They want to try and get what they can done in this, this this period of time. The buyback for Tinker still on cooldown for a minute and a half. Yeah. If they get reckless... If they get it, I mean, Batuma Man with the God Strength, he's going to rip through the base. Do they, they don't have T4s, do they? They don't. The Ancient is exposed for Vega. Illusion. Oh my. Oh, if they get... Oh, if Liquid can pull this There's through. a Glyph available for them, but aye, Tinker's aye, down aye. 15. Only 33 This is their window. Hello, hello, I'm a two man. This is not the start he needed. Uh, good defense is just up to them. And he's still controlling. Mighty Drop, Mighty Drop back. Get away, FN. That's not zero. But two man just fall off the back. Man, he should be glimmering. Man, should have survived. But two man comes back to it. Finish him off. On these last of them, the miracle and the spirit's down. But two man, we need to do something big. He's below the sword. The BKB comes out. Looks towards him with his player. But the match is coming from FN. There's no way it is from a two man down. Kuroki in with the match inside. Hexed up. Critted up. FN takes the kill. Miracle last man standing he's holding the base but Vega they've got the four five man up and alive Gem of the Fair coming through the hex is out FN jumping forward with Iceberg as well Miracle taken down GG is cool wow they what? Just yeah. 